Hi, my name is Veronica Thompson. And I'm sitting back and I'm watching the presidency and I'm watching what everything is going on. But it's one thing that's missing. Hmm, can you figure it out? I can. Where is his proof of how much money he made? And we want that now. We ain't trying to hear about no bridges and no gates and all these great jobs until you prove that you made a certain amount of money and you're not taking money from other places and you're not putting it in your account. Until then, you don't have no way to proof of showing what you're doing financially. Then how can we trust you? Trust you for what? You you just you sitting in there breaking laws. The first law in politics is to show your proof of how much money you make every year. Every year. Down to in kind, to donations, to copiers, to anything you could think of that was given to you by anybody. You must have it documented. So until then, you ain't no president. You fronting. You fronting. You know you fronting. Because you know why you fronting? Because you should have been showed it. How you sitting in an office and you didn't show no proof. And everybody who ever ran for any seat, any, not your seat, but any seat, must prove how much money they made. And they have to show their tax return. How much is coming in from in kind. In kind means that you donated your time to somebody else on their campaign. And they paid you. In kind. Okay. In kind can also be a copying machine. In kind. It could be paper. In kind. It must be documented. And that's not even money. So until... President Trump, excuse me, who wants to be President Trump, because if he can't show you what he made and how, where his money is coming from, he ain't no president. He fronting. You fronting. I was on your side, but until you start showing real shit, doing real things, showing real actions, being a real person and stop lying and flip-flopping, why are you flip-flopping all the time? How can we trust you? You're supposed to be the president. President who? Who you for? What America you for? The America that hates? The America that breaks people down? The America that breaks people's hearts? The America that hurts little kids? What kind of America is this? You don't know what the heck you doing. You need some help. Or watch. Mark my words. You will find your way out. Just like everybody else got fired. It'd be just like one of your shows. You're fired. And you can get fired. Believe me. People can't take a liar. You the one we look into and you're lying and flip flopping and what's wrong with you, man? You supposed to be, you, know, you, you all listen here, but all I'm really seeing, the more I listen, the more I look, all I'm seeing is KKK. You know, you could, anybody, y'all could come and comment. You could say what you want. You could write me back. You can even, hey. Why don't you just sign up and subscribe? But if that's up to you, because I feel like this here, everybody has an opinion. And my opinion is until you show us what you made and where your money is coming from and how much money you got, you're not like everybody else. We all had to do it. Everybody, even Congress, everybody who got a seat had to show what they made. Until then, I don't think you real, Trump. I think you just a, a, a hey. I think you're a mirage. You might be just a mirage. Yeah, I think you're a mirage. I think you're a, a, a freaking mirage. You know why? Because you're there and you're not there. You're there for the people, but you're not there. You have good ideas, but you're not saying it. So what are you doing? You need other people to think for you? You don't need nobody to think for you? Don't you got a brain? I, I, I thought I seen your head, eyes, nose, and mouth. If that don't work, then I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for you because, see, all I have is a high school diploma, and, and I ran for city councilwoman, and I had plans, I had zoning plans, I had jobs put in place, I had all this here written down and documented. I have took my time and did this. So if you can't write a proposal, hmm, and your people can't write a proposal, and you don't have enough people in your seats, something is kind of shady. And, and, and let's get back to what about this? Putin. Why is Putin and Trump trying to be homies? 
Why are you trying to be the best of friends? You can't be the enemy's best friend and yet be the president of the United States. That is a contradiction. You are walking, talking contradiction. That's contradiction. You're supposed to be standing for America. So you're going to deal and and then how you, how you like this here? I love what, when you did this here. You praised him for killing the, 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 the reporters and killing innocent people and little kids. He's a great guy. You are you got a problem. That's not how you run any place. You don't run people like that. Killing off the people, yeah, fear. Fear in 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 the end causes you to get killed. Because if people are scared of you, you should know everybody who's scared of somebody, that's the worst person to mess with. Because you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna kill you. Because fear, fear will kill. So stop spreading negativity and calling yourself our president. Our president is fighting for us and making it logical, making real decisions that's logical. You know, you know, makes sense. I can't follow you and be a Republican and follow you, and yet you sound like a fool. You don't, you don't even make sense. You went up there and made a speech that talked to the Congress, and you said the same damn thing. Oh, yet I want to put a make sure we can keep the people out. We got Yeah, that all it's the same thing you've been saying. You still don't even have the money to do it. So where's this money coming from? What you gonna make money too? You you and everybody just wanna just make a bunch of counterfeit money because after a while it's become counterfeit. Okay? You can't produce money when we owe so much. You know it don't make sense. And then you, you weren't about how good you're doing. Well, look, look, I'm one of the people. You ain't doing good. All right. Let me just tell you, you ain't doing good. You're not listening to nobody. You just think that you know everything and you don't know nothing. You're just like a little kid that just graduated from the ninth grade. And all of a sudden he thinks he could go to college and he didn't even get good grades. You got bad grades. I know you did. Because if you was a bully, you got bad grades. Yeah, you just did good enough just for your parents to make sure you did. Yeah, I, yeah, he got a C. Yeah, because you wasn't no A and B. Because if you was, you would have been really articulate at what you're doing right now. So evidently, you wasn't an A student. You wasn't that. And if you went to college, I don't know what college you went to. You know, you really need to pick up a book called Politics and read it. Read it, read it, and reread it. Reread it so much that you know the words by heart. Don't mention our forefathers in a tone. Because, see, the Republicans, we represent Lincoln. Okay? Lincoln. All right? Don't mention Lincoln if you're going to say it in, in, in a, the most dumbest way. You know? Stop. Think before you speak. My mother always told me, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Maybe you should try that. Maybe somebody should have told you that. Because when you say Muslims, 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 everybody in America now is going crazy. White people are killing up people for no damn reason. They're running around putting things on Jews and, and Hitler and all this great stuff. You caused that. You, you, Donald Trump caused that. You are the troublemaker in this. you like the, the troublemaker in the classroom. You incite everything and then, then you act as if you don't understand what's going on because you're doing a good job. Anybody can get in the behind the desk and sign papers. All right? If you don't know what to sign, in, then what's the point? That means you're not using your nugget. But hey, you the president of the United States. You know, you have the military and all these people depending and looking at you. And you are acting like a little child with the first chance to be at the table to talk. And everything that comes out your mouth is just wrong. Wrong, wrong. Cause all right, after you get the Muslims, then who's next? The Puerto Ricans. Mm. Oh, oh, and maybe be, be be the Asians. Oh, it could be the East Indians. You know, cause East Indians are known for stealing in Bangladesh. If you want to do all that, yeah, they had a whole family that came to America. They had the little babies going behind there and stealing jewelry. Um, yeah, yeah. Why? Well, I mean, if you're gonna be hating, let's just let's just do it. The wrong way as you've been doing it. Because anybody who hates as much as you has to be KKK. And why? Why? I don't even understand why it's a sustain of prejudice. Why, uh, why would you hate somebody 
because you don't understand them, because they're different from you. You know how long my people been fighting? And the fight ain't even over. We ain't even win. We still losing. And we only losing because of stupidity. That's all. Everybody's scared. Ain't nobody should be scared of nothing. Because just like everybody else on this planet, we all suffer with the same thing. We live and fucking die. Okay? That's it. That That is it. That's what life is about. You live your life and then you pass away. Okay? You put out seeds with those children and they go forth and they do something. And that's it. it it's like... You're not doing a good job, in my opinion. You didn't say nothing about people becoming entrepreneurs, building the, the economy strong, you know, giving people jobs. That's all good. But we need entrepreneurs who can hire people, too, besides big corporations. Do you understand? Corporations is not going to always hire the people who really need. They're going to hire the people they want. So there we still back in the same thing with no daggone job. I don't know what to say, but one thing, show some proof about how much money you made. Stop playing. If you don't show that, I think they should just take your papers and find out what you made and where this money is coming from. How are you making money? Remember, we all know you're supposed to be a rich man, Trump. You own towers in every damn state. I'm living in Nevada. You got one here. Big old gold billing. Yes. Okay, so you got to you got to show some proof. You can't be coming up in there as a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever, and don't show no proof of where your money is coming from, because then everything you say is a lie, and all you've been doing is lying. And when people lie, they got something to hide. So you need to drink some coffee and think about this. Here, don't stop the lying. Stop your people from lying. Tell the damn truth. If you fucking up, you fucking up. Everybody messes up one time or another. Nobody's perfect. So for you to act like you're perfect, that's not a good thing. Be real. Be 100%. Be true to the people. We are dependent on you. We are America. And we are America strong. That's right. We fight for America. Our freedom. Our democracy. What makes America great? The people. Think about that. Peace.